All right, guys. So in the last video, what we did is we took this playlist and we added it to our main app component. However, now we kind of have a problem. So we have a bunch of videos and by a bunch, I mean two videos right here are in our main app component and we need to figure out how to send these videos to our playlist because our playlist is a component that actually is going to display all of these videos. So how do we get these videos and pass them to this component? Well, what we do is we actually use a new type of binding called attribute binding. And it's basically how you can send data from one component to another. So in your template, and this is my template for my main app, what you can do is in between square braces, name your attribute, anything you want. I'm just gonna name it videos. Now what you do from here is you set it equal to this videos list right here. So whenever you do this, now playlist has a new videos attribute. So this is how you send data out from your app component to the playlist component. That's it. So from here, what we need to do in our playlist component is we need to say, hey, we have some incoming data, we need to handle it, and this is only one simple line of code. So right now, this playlist, it doesn't know that it's gonna have any incoming data, it doesn't know it's gonna have a list of videos, whatever. So in order to be able to handle that, you need to specify its inputs. So inputs are just a way of saying, hey, we're gonna have some info coming in. Well, what are you gonna have? Just a new attribute named videos. So now in your playlist component.html, you can just use this videos array just like you would using you know a regular variable. So that's it. So again, it's a two-part process. Whenever you wanna pass data from one component to another component, we are making a new attribute and we're binding the value of it to this attribute right here. So you send it out from one component and then you accept it from another component. That's it. Now for this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a quick table and for each of these items, I'll just display it as a new row. So it'll be really kind of stupid, but whatever. So I'm gonna make a table and I'll just say the class equals table and I'll actually do this. This is a little bit cooler. So table hover. And this is actually a bootstrap class and it just is whenever you're hovering over a row, then it lights up and I don't know. I just think it's a little bit cooler. So now I'm just gonna make a table heading and this is just gonna have All right, so I'll say the ID. In this table, I'm gonna list the ID, the title, and the description. I don't think it's really important to, you know, put that video code. We're gonna use that video code later on because later on, what I'm gonna have happen is whenever the user clicks one of these rows, then the video pops up and plays. But right now, let's just go ahead and worry about creating this table. So I have the T head and for the body of this, this is where I want to pretty much list each individual video. So instead of just having this text, what I'm gonna have happen is this. So you know that I said that whenever we are just displaying some basic variable, we can just use this type of binding right here, but we can't really do that in this case because we aren't just displaying one thing. This is actually an array or in other words, multiple videos. So instead of just writing something that's gonna display one time, we need to make a loop. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna loop through all of the items in our array, each video, and for each one, it's gonna create a new table row. So how do we do this using Angular? We'll use a special directive ng4. So in other words, wherever you see this tag, it's gonna count whatever, I, here, let me finish this. Might be a little bit easier to see. All right, so what this is gonna do is this. It's gonna look at videos, all of the videos, and again, these are just our array of videos, and for each one, 
it's just gonna treat each video as a V. So just like before, whenever we printed out main heading, what we can do is, let's say we wanna print out the video ID, we just use V, which is each individual video ID. And actually, let me tighten that up a bit, mate. All right. So I'm gonna print out their ID in the first column, and then the video's title, and then it's description. Get out of here, mate. All right. So again, one last time, whenever you have an array or a list or just a bunch of items that you wanna loop through, you can use ng4. So this is going to loop through each video, and for each one, it's going to create a new row. So if there were 10 videos, it would create 10 rows, yada, yada, tomato, tomato. So check this out. Now that we have everything working properly, instead of just that little, hey, a playlist is gonna go here, we now have this component. So this table is an entirely separate component, and for each item in our array, check it out. It made a brand new row. And you know how I talked about table hover? Then that's all this is. Whenever your mouse is over it, then it just, I don't even know if you guys can see that on YouTube, but it has a nice light gray background. So pretty sweet. That is the basics of passing data from one component to another. And in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make this so whenever we click one of these rows, the actual video is gonna pop up under here and start playing. It's gonna be sweet. I will see you then.